The mainstream theory of autoimmune disease, as we went over in the intro, is that for some unknown reason, the immune system has begun attacking the body. A doctor might tell you researchers are still searching for the genes that cause autoimmune disease, but the reality is they're never going to find them because what's happening in the body has nothing to do with the genes. An example of autoimmune diseases, although there are dozens of them, include rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, inflammatory bowel disease, multiple sclerosis, and type 1 diabetes. To diagnose autoimmune disease, doctors use a combination of symptoms, and they also rely quite heavily on a blood test which searches for antibodies also called autoantibodies. If the test reveals autoantibodies for a specific tissue, the doctor interprets that to mean the immune system is trying to destroy that tissue. Symptoms. Autoimmune disease is not a fatal condition, although the symptoms it causes are chronic and miserable, like fatigue, joint pain, swelling, skin problems, muscle wasting, digestive issues, and swollen glands. All mainstream medicinal treatments for autoimmune disease focus on poisoning the immune system. Of course, as a result of these highly toxic treatments, the patient's overall health suffers and is made worse in the end because of it. Hey, it's Mark. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and definitely hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos when they come out. Also, be sure to pick up my three free ebooks, one on chemotherapy, the other on sodium bicarbonate for cancer and other diseases, and a red light therapy dose guide by clicking the link in the description below. Last but not least, check out one more video on my channel right here, and I will see you in the next one.